Hey YouTubers, uh, just a quick one today. It's a, an Opal Mariva B and we're going to be doing the glow plugs. I'll just take you through the process of doing that. Yeah, so 1.7 diesel. All right, let's get started. It's always best to have the engine nice and toasty when you do these. It just helps with the, uh, the plugs coming out. The first thing, take off the cover. Yeah, I serviced this the other week and it threw some, well, three forks through the glow plugs. So we're gonna be putting a, a set of four in. Give you a quick look at them. They hide down here. You can see this one better here. So this is what I use. Correct tool for removing glow plugs. And these are an M10. Yeah, they should only be taught, I think off the top of my head, about 10 to 12 newtons, if I remember rightly. Um, we'll double check, obviously, properly back together. What I'll do is I'll put the oil cap on this, just so we don't have any nastiness going on and dropping things down there. All right, these are the power supply connectors. You just get hold of them, give them a good tug up. With glow plugs, never force them, otherwise they'll end up sapping and causing you a, a world of grief. As I said, they should only be 10 to 12 million meters. It's just really hard to get the camera in here and show you what I'm doing but they sit directly under the plug that you've just removed, the electrical connector. And as I said, it's always good to have the engine a little bit toasted, it does make it easier. Get them all started. Make sure we're not going to have any naughty ones. You know, if one or two globe plugs are going, do the set. There's no point in not. You know, you're gonna do the job once and then you're gonna end up doing it again for the others. And what I'll do is when they're out, we'll have a look at the resistance and compare them to the new ones. And with everything, 
just a question of room. Well, at least we'll undone nice. I mean, I've heard of people giving them a little uh, rattle with like, air guns and stuff, but it'd be in a world of trouble if they snap. Sorry, I can't show you any better, but it's just, I can't get the camera in down here. to use this at a minute because I've misplaced my, uh, my magnet, which is a bit of a pain. It works just as well. This is. One. third plug but it's out number four so then you can see on that one quite clearly it's nasty Three, so it's time to burn at that end. All right, let's just check the resistance across them. So, this number one. Open. That means the heating element is bad. Number one. We did give a code for three, so let's see how we do. Number two. Bad. Number three. Again, bad. Check the meter there. I was beginning to worry. Number so that's number four. So the first three were bad. Number four, what we got? 1.6. Let's compare that one with a new one. It's a new one. So you can see the difference. Oops, if I keep it still. Zero point two. Number four. Oh, I hate when 
seven. I mean, if you, if you do it on a threaded part. One six. So number four is on its way out anyway. Right, let's reinstall these. I'll check the um, tool specs and we'll go back and re reinstall them. Right, factory specs on these, 12 millimeters. Just remember, if you have it on, you need to check out the, the specs of yourself. Make sure you start them by hand first. Tighten by hand, and then we can just snug them up. Factory spec. Now if you're DIYing, just get Hanes or something like that. You can, uh, I think, you can get a digital Hanes nowadays. Or Google it, but make sure it's the right for your vehicle. 12 newtons on that one. Twelve newtons. I should say newton meters really, shouldn't I? Twelve newton meters. Final one. Oh, yeah, and always remember to zero your uh, talk bench. I think mean, my ones get calibrated once a year. Always best practice to zero them. So now it's a question of getting the connectors back on. subject here. Right. 
Boom. So, number four in. You just feed them as they clip down. Okay, get this engine cover back on it. And we plug it into the uh, code reader. We'll make sure we're all good. We'll have a look at the engine control module. So, these are the codes. Present, present, present. Road plug cylinder one, two, and three. And we tested, they was all bad. I'll go over and start it, read the codes again, and they should go to history. All right, let's come out. Reread them. Let's clear. Right, let's clear them down. Right, so codes have been erased. Come out of that. Go and start it, see if I come back. Excellent. Okay. It's a short video on changing the growth plugs in a Mariva 1.7. It's 2010. You have the other um, open voxel variants, which are going to be very similar. So thank you for watching um, and if you like what I'm doing please subscribe, like and ring the bell to get notifications of when the next videos come out. Thank you.